This week we're going to be focusing on motor development in infants and toddlers. This is a huge topic related to the children we are studying this semester. Motor development can be explained as the development of a child's bones, muscles, and ability to move around and manipulate his or her environment. Motor development can be divided into two sections, gross motor development and fine motor development. When we divide up gross and fine motor, here are a few examples. Gross motor skills are sometimes referred to as large motor skills. Head control, rolling over, and walking are all examples of gross motor skills that most children develop during the first few years of life. Fine motor skills are not as readily recognized by many people, but they are still developing at a very rapid pace grasping, pointing, building, feeding. All these skills are happening as the child continues to refine their motor control. The major milestones of gross motor are addressed very clearly in the supplemental video that is provided. It is produced for a parent's information, so just keep that in mind as you view it. Imagine, in just three years, children develop from no muscle control to rolling over, standing, walking, running, climbing, kicking, throwing, jumping. Can you imagine if we kept developing skills at that rate? I'm pretty sure we'd be flying by now. One of the very important reasons to student study child growth and development is so that we can understand and identify when a child isn't developing typically. typically. Some people take issue with identifying typical ages in which children develop particular skills. I'm more of a range person. I don't like identifying an exact age for walking, for example. Rather than say all children should, be, should walk around 12 months of age, I would prefer we label it as between 10 and 14 months of age, most children will begin to walk. When we put a specific age on a milestone, we can really freak ourselves and parents out as well. Our textbook talks about some of the times we may notice differences in development. Be sure to pay attention to the discussion on sensory processing issues. When we notice perhaps delays, we may first start by working with the child in that area and having casual conversations with the parents. Significant delays may sidestep, cause us to sidestep the casual and move right to assessment conversations. Motor development is exciting. Have a great week.